What is good YouTube, my name is George, welcome to another video. So I just wanted to preface this video with a little preface because it's a lot different from the content that I'm used to posting. This is gonna be a very meta sort of update about my YouTube channel and upload schedule. So if you wanna go right to the game of skate, the timestamp is right here. I won't be offended. I'll just cry a little bit later, but it's all good. The reason I'm prefacing this video is because it's just a game of skate, but I feel like my channel has progressed to a place to where the videos are a little bit more intricate. The videos are coming out longer, which I think is great because I get to discuss things more in depth and it happens to be quarantine where people are watching more content. I know I certainly am. So it's like I have these longer discussion or vlog based videos. And then this one is just a very straightforward, pure skateboarding content, simple, easy to edit. And I consider these to be two totally different types of videos. Now, typically I'll reserve the last Monday of the month to be a bonus video where I'll do one of those simpler skateboarding focus videos, such as a game of skate like this one, or a five tricks video, or a skate product review or something like that. Whereas the weekly Friday, Friday videos would be longer, more intricate videos. And I was about to post this Game of Skate video on Monday, but I was like, it's a holiday weekend. Why am I giving myself extra work if I already have this piece of content ready? So not that I need to like justify what kind of content I'm putting on my own channel, but that is why this is a shorter, simpler skateboarding focus video. And currently the way my workflow goes is that I frantically film a video all week and I just barely get it done by Friday and then I post it and then I have the weekend and then Monday. Monday, it's back to it, making another video to post it on that Friday. But since I had this game of skate video ready where there's really not much editing involved, I'm going to take this opportunity to film another video this week and finish it by Friday, but then I'm going to schedule it for next Friday. And that means I can finally be a week ahead on my work, which is like, which would be like insane. I feel like that will bring on a whole new level of mental clarity so that instead of every week just frantically working on a video, I can work on my videos in a more calm and collected way. Plus have more mind space to focus on all of the other projects that I'm working on, like a street video that I probably shouldn't hype up too much right now because there's like one clip in it. <laughs> and basically I'm not gonna do the bonus Monday video anymore, but now I'm gonna try to make the last Friday of the month a simple skate focus video because according to the views, you guys like those videos too. And I know they provide a lot of value, so I wanna continue doing them, but I just love the weekly pace and I wanna always be a week ahead. And if I always have a simple for me to make an edit video coming at the end of the month, I think I can consistently be a week ahead of, on my work, which like I said, will be very awesome for me. So that was just some YouTube rambles that I had to get off my chest, something that's been on my mind for a while as I try to really nail down my workflow. And now a little preface about the game of skate. So I'm playing Josh Katz, who many of you probably remember from back in the day when he was posting a bunch of skate videos. If you didn't know, he's still posting YouTube videos, but now he makes more photography videos, still shredding, killing it. We live super close by. So we've been skating at a safe social distance during the quarantine and playing a lot of games of skate. And I love playing Josh and skate because we have so many of the same tricks that will typically like run through every single trick we can do in every game of skate we play and then we're forced to learn new tricks and I've been learning just tons of tricks playing Josh for example the full cap flip is one that I learned because I had to try it on defense when he set it on me same with the ghetto bird plus these games of skate force you to train your old tricks and try new tricks and there's like a lot of hype involved because of the competitive spirits and I think these games are really fun to watch I know I love watching flat ground on this volleyball court because the ground is just so perfect and you can kind of hear it in the wheels and the way the tail sounds when it pops. So I thought this would be a fun thing for you guys to watch. I don't think it's necessary to talk anymore. Here's the game of skate. You know the recording shit, right? I have this camera, bro. All right, what is good, YouTube? Wait, let me start over. What is good, YouTube? My name is George. I'm here with Josh Katz, Danny behind the camera. We are keeping some good distance between us, social distancing, and we've been skating a lot of flat ground together, learning a lot of tricks by playing some pretty amazing games of skate, and we're gonna try to play one right now. What he's not mentioning is that we've decided that this, this volleyball court isn't big enough for the both of us, so loser has to stop wearing a helmet forever. <laughs> it's a deal. Can I have the helmet? <laughs> George goes first. Wow, straight to the jugular with that kick though. <laughs> Come on guys, we need a better game. <laughs> the 
fun nuance of playing George. We've played like 100 games in the last two weeks. Every trick you do is personal. That's true. You, we know each other's weaknesses. They're <laughs> all personal. And in the case of a front shot, just lazy. <laughs> I didn't see that. It looked perfect to me. Both solid heel flips. Back to George. Freaking robots, man. Uh, the honorable man always loses. <laughs> uh, personal, real quick. Are you guys keeping score? No. What? I would say there is a competitive spirit, but we're being very lenient on defense in general because it keeps the game longer. I think that needed to be said. We're so lenient, it's crazy. That's true. Oh my God. Come on, switch tray. I need you. All right, Josh, do a switch tray. Yeah, don't play, don't play coy for the camera. <laughs> Oof. This is when it gets pushed. <laughs> Josh, I think you left some of your board on the ground. Because it rolled. Oh! No one liked my joke. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Ooh. Homie bit. <laughs> Yo, that counts on third try, Danny. You're supposed to beat him, not humiliate him. <laughs> Gosh darn. Wow, that was your best switch heel yet. That's the strategy comes out, you're getting desperate, huh? God damn. <laughs> Redo. To a perfect Nolive aerial heel. To another one. Ooh, smack that. A whole lot of whipping going on right now. All right, Josh. All right, Josh. Cap heel and cap foot. You little fing. I don't even know. Oh. What do you have, Josh? A oh, what? God damn. What? <laughs> I think it's Ollie North time. Nice, George. I had Defense. See that fake inward. Wow. 
somehow held on, dude. Yeah, it was bad, but it was there was there was no like actual infraction. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> the hell was that? Ooh, body. All right, George, double flip. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, I know how you can end him. Take you front heel. Ooh, that was tight. Wait, wait. That's T. See, right? The A was the fakey inward. What? Good out here. Yeah, for real. Fakey front heel looks nicer now, doesn't it? Oh, you you had that like body language. Ah. Wait a minute, gentleman's third. Would you like a gentleman's third? I'll take a gentleman's third. Do you want to explain what gentleman's third is? So this is another intricacy of our games where even though we do it every time, we still tend to ask for it a oh, third try on the last letter. You have to ask for it. If you if you don't ask for it, it's disrespect, and you don't earn a gentleman's third with disrespect. All right. <laughs> well, here goes. <laughs> All right, social distance, acceptance of a loss. Do you have any final words about this game of skate? No. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Well, <Sam>. I do. <laughs> you both suck. So that was our game. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Josh beats me pretty much every time. I think I've beat him once or twice, but his bag is just a little bit bigger than mine. That that sounded. <laughs> Did it? Josh's bag of tricks is just a little bit bigger than mine, which is actually really healthy for me because when I get to play him, I have to try all these tricks that I never would try otherwise. And it is very productive in terms of progressing at flat ground skateboarding. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this simpler than usual video. Already stoked to catch you guys next week with another video. Until then, stay safe, stay sane, shred at a social distance, and I'll catch you around. Or a product review, or a product review, <laughs> or a product review, pro product, product. <laughs> and what, how do I take it easy? <laughs> Peace. Till next time.